Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King's Bear channel. So for the Apex Showdown event for the Roxic tournament, many players said that for the rewards that you can exchange at the Apex Showdown store, the most worth to get is the Hawkrux box. The Hawkrux is the item that you need to increase your shadow equipment level from level 6 onwards. Well, as much as I want to get this, but my shadow equipment is only at level 5. So if I were to get the Hawkrooks box, I won't be able to use it. What I need at my current progress is the Luminary box. From level 5 Shadow Equipment to level 6, I need 225 Luminary 4 item. I have not progressed my Shadow Equipment for a long time now. And so in this video, I'm going to make an attempt to increase my level 5 Shadow Equipment to level 6 using the Luminary box from the Apex Store which I had claimed all the luminary box before this. I also have some existing luminary box in my backpack that I have not opened yet. So with the existing box and the new one, all together I have 63 luminary boxes. Open it to get all the longbow luminary. I have around 1000 luminary 1 longbow item. Now let's synthesize it to luminary 4. Synthesize it to Luminary 4, it gives me 35 Luminary 4 item, including the Luminary 4 item that I already have beforehand. In the end, I only have 45. Obviously, this is not enough to upgrade the Shadow Equipment level. I still need another 180 Luminary 4 item, about 200. Looking at the exchange center, for 100 Luminary 4 item, it is cost around 300,000 credits. Crystals. So for 180, it will cost around 600,000 crystals. I can actually just buy the remaining material that is required at the exchange center. But I remember I do have some equipment smelting stone in my warehouse that I have not used yet. And I think it will be much cheaper to smelt the weapon at the furnace to get the luminary item than buying it at the exchange center. So let's see how much I can can save. So let's take out the equipment smelting stone from the warehouse and let's smelt some equipment to get the luminary item. I do have a level 110 blue longbow weapon that I got from the gacha machine a long time ago. Smelting this weapon will give me over 1000 luminary 4 item but I only need 225. This will be too much and it's such a waste to smelt a level 110 tan blue weapon. So let's smelt lower level weapon. I try to smelt the weapon to get just enough luminary 4 item for the upgrade. I don't want to use excessive crystals buying the equipment smelting stone material at the exchange center. It will be a waste if I have a lot of the luminary stone and can't use it anymore. Well, if the shadow equipment fell to upgrade, the worst thing that can happen is I just need to smelt the weapon all over again to get the luminary stone. Alright, I have exactly 225 luminary 4 item. Overall, the crystals that I use to smelt the weapon is around 288,000, about 300,000. Half the crystal needed if I just buy the luminary 4 item at the exchange center, so that is good. And now is the main highlight, the upgrade process itself. And for that purpose, let's go to my lucky town and that is the Alberta. I can do the shadow equipment upgrade anywhere. But as I mentioned before, the Alberta is my lucky place for this kind of thing. Be it for equipment upgrading and refine, I always go here. I have a lot of success in Alberta. So the moment of truth. Let's upgrade the level 5 shadow equipment to level 6. It does not have a crazy high success rate, only at 66%. The 15% is already added to the total rate. Anyway, let's upgrade it. 
Alright, what a relief, it's a success. And now I see why players said the Horcrux is the worst thing to get in the Apex store. From Shadow Equipment level 6 to 7, you need 600 Horcrux item. Let's check how much exactly is that if I were to buy it at the exchange center. There is even not enough Horcrux item at the exchange center. 200 Horcrux is about 2.8 million crystals, so 600 will be around over 8 million crystals. That is insanely expensive. Looking at the Apex store, you can get 25 Horcrux boxes, with each box give you 10 Horcrux item. 25 boxes will give you 250 Horcrux item. Still, that is not enough item if I want to upgrade the Shadow Equipment to level 7 now. That's too bad, and that will have to wait for another I don't know how long it will take to get all the Horcrux, maybe never as F2P. Alright, now that the Shadow Equipment is at level 6, what is next to do is to upgrade the Shadow Equipment stats. I have a lot of Shadow Equipment materials stuck in my backpack and in the warehouse that I haven't used yet. So the materials are not a problem. The problem is the guild contribution point. It can be depleted fast if you don't keep an eye on it when upgrading the Shadow Shadow equipment stats, and so for that, I will start upgrade the stat in the Pioneer first. There's a lot of stats that I want here that can increase my Ranger stat, with the exception of the final crit stat. I am building my Ranger as a longbow penetration build, so the crit is not needed. I know there has been argument about the way I build my longbow Ranger for all this time, even after almost three years. Well, I'm playing my ranger the unconventional way. It is not for everyone. It is just how I like to play my ranger. So for pioneer, I'm getting the physical attack, attack speed, and physical damage bonus. I'm not going to get the final crit. And for physical lifesteal, players had said that you need at least 30% lifesteal. I had made a video on that. Why is it so? You can check that out. But I think I'm done with the physical lifesteal. I previously got myself the Ultraman Alien Adesic Gold Card, which increased 25% lifesteal. So add that with my current lifesteal, that will be about 40% lifesteal. So if there is time I want to get more lifesteal, maybe for instance or grinding, I can just slot this card to get more lifesteal. So for now, I am fine with the way it is. For inscription, I will get the agility, attack speed, and physical damage bonus. I will not upgrade further the crit, luck, and critical damage bonus. Alright, I think that is all for this video. Off camera, I had upgraded the improved concentration 1 skill on bound to level 3. I haven't changed anything on engrave, although I do want to increase the focus shot to skill, but the materials needed, it need luminary 4 item. I am exhausted from all of the upgrading, so I'm going to pass on that for now. On validation, the Wild Awakening 2 is finally unlocked with Shadow Command level 6. This will increase your Falcon damage tremendously if you are a Falcon Bill Ranger. But I'm not, so I increase the 2 side 1 skill instead to level 2. And for contract, I increase the Prowing Wolf skill to level 2 to increase the Wolf attack trigger rate. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do you think I am able to upgrade the Shadow Command to level 7 as F2P? Let me know in the comment below. That's it for this video. This time video shoutout goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.